Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. This one is another fan from Fanimation. Uh, this is their Beckwith. This is the model FP7964B. And the uh, B stands for uh, oil rub bronze. And I just wanted to run you through some of the features on this uh, fan. Um, this one here takes uh, LED bulbs and they're the candelabra base bulbs like this one here shown and uh, it, it comes with the bulbs so you don't have to go out and purchase them um, and the ones that they send with you are four watts per bulb and the color on the light is like a 2700 K so it's like a, a soft white a uh, little bit of a yellowish tint color to the light uh, is some of the features on this light um, it has an adjustable dimmer so you can turn the light uh, on full brightness or you can dim it down and uh, you can also change and put some different bulbs on here so if you don't like that that uh, soft white yellowish color you could put some brighter white white bulbs in there uh, so just keep that in mind you know that that is a, a plus that you you can change the color of the lighting and uh, you can change the wattage if you want it a little bit brighter or a little bit softer but uh, right now, the way that it comes, like I said, it comes with uh, four, uh, four watt bulbs. So for a total of 16 watts on the light. And uh, it comes with a remote control. And uh, the remote control uh, is really simple to use. It adjusts the uh, speed up and down on the fan. And then, like I said, it's got a dimmer so it can dim the light. And then it also has a timer. Now, this fan also features, a re has a reverse on it so uh the reverse switch to operate the blades in the opposite direction is right here on top so there's a little switch up there above the canopy and you can uh flip that switch in it and it operates the fan blades in a, the opposite direction so i'm going to take you inside show you what the fan looks like installed and uh, let you get an idea of what it looks like and i'll run you through some of the features of the remote Alright guys, as you can see, uh, we're inside the house now and, and a lot of these older houses uh, don't have uh, lights in the ceiling so we had to put a box there in the, uh, an electrical box in the ceiling and uh, we got that all installed and all the wiring run and everything and then uh, we went ahead and, and uh, hooked the fan and light up and uh, it works great and so it's definitely a unique look. Um, wasn't so sure how it was going to look in here at first but you know after we got it installed uh, i think it turned out great uh so anyways i'm going to show you some of the different features that it has here on the remote uh the way that you turn it on is the switch here it's got the little brightness logo on it and, and then you can take and adjust it down and you can see that it it dims the light all the way down to like 15 or 20 percent of its max power and then you just turn it back up and then it's bright all over again so anyways to turn the fan on you just take and hit the on switch one time and you can see this thing puts out quite a bit of air it's, it's a small fan uh, i think the diameter of it's 23 inches around uh, but it, it does put out quite a bit of air i mean i can feel it way down here on my arm and um, all the way down to my feet so anyways you can uh, adjust the speed of the fan just by clicking the remote right here and uh, and you can take it all the way down now like I said it uses four uh, different uh, candelabra base bulbs and um, you can if you don't like the color output of the uh, the lights you can uh, buy some different bulbs like I said these are like 2700 K uh, which is the color of the lighting which is I believe like a soft light with a yellowish tint but if you prefer something more of like a wider light you could get uh, a brighter daylight type bulb and if you want it brighter you could always change the bulbs out that's the advantage of of having the bulbs where you can replace them as just like a panel of LEDs like on some of the newer fans, uh, you can't replace the, the bulbs and uh, you can't change the color. So this one 
uh, you can. So anyways, the way that you change the bulbs is there's little access panels on the top of the fan. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you just unscrew two, two uh, screws and it lets you in to get to that panel to replace the bulbs. And so uh, it's really easy. Okay, you can see the access panel right here. There's one screw there, one screw there. You pull it out and you can access the bulbs. And then right here on the top of the fan, if you want to change the direction of which way the blades spin, you just take and uh, push that lever back the opposite way and uh, it uh, changes the direction. All right, I just wanted to show you guys what the fan looks like uh, from below it looking up and uh, I think it looks pretty sharp uh, this fan uh, the MSRP on it's like $550 somewhere in there and uh, just check around you can find it for different prices then I'm gonna walk you around to show you what it looks like from, from the side If you're definitely looking for something unusual with a different look, then this is definitely the fan for you. And she's got a lot of stuff in her house that's dark brown. And uh, so I think it matches great, especially the, the, uh, the bronze finish. Now I, I do know that it comes in several finishes uh, so you can you can check their website. I believe it does come in like a silver or a chrome um, Brushed nickel or something like that finish. So check out their website. I'll put a link to Fanimation down below so you just click on it and it'll take you to their website, but this is like the fifth fourth or fifth fan from Fanimation that I've done a review on and uh, seem to make a, a good sturdy product um, and you can See, it comes with a nice remote. It has a one hour, a three hour, and a six hour timer on it. And it takes uh, like a little, uh, like a little small battery. It's smaller than like a little AAA. But uh, anyways, seems to work good. And hadn't had any problems with it. And I think it'll definitely be able to pull some of the hot air uh, from the fireplace uh, around the room. You know, you can see they've got a, just a, a little fan up here blowing some of the heat out of the gas fireplace. And so this will definitely, definitely help move some of the air around the house because it does put out quite a bit. I wished I could show you guys just how, how much air it does put out. But anyways, appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll, if you want to know how to wire it up, I'll link this video to some of the other Fanimation videos that I've done and you can see how to wire up the the controller the, for the remote control and uh, it's really simple you just match it up match the wires up and uh, you know there's nothing to it now as far as it having a safety wire it does come with a safety wire um, you can hook that up just in case uh, the mount failed or something it don't fall to the ground and so I didn't use it on this one, uh, but some of the heavier model fans, I would definitely consider using it on. So, but anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch and, uh, you know, please put your comments down below and please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.